All right, so we set up our project. You would name it appropriately and save it to a local drive. I'm just going to put it in here where I had it. All right, Alicia, Brian, Aaron, you guys have a project set up? All right, Aaron, you kind of with me? Did you set up a project in Premiere? Continue here. So after we set up our project, then we would go to this assembly tab. We're going to right click and import. All right, so for Brian, Aaron, Alicia, for today, just go to, um, in, your, in this PC, all right, or the, under this computer, you're going to go to GA Home or Shared Data, I think it's labeled for you guys, Multimedia, Video Production, and in here is a bunch of projects that I have. So maybe grab two or three or uh, make sure that they are video files, though. All right, and once you open up those clips, all right, we're going to start by just dragging one to the timeline. All right, so that gets our video in our timeline, and, um, and I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our main title. All right, so actually I'm going to go back here. That's right, I made a new project. So let me go back to my other one. I'm going to continue with this. So for most of the people in, in this class here today, all right, we're going to have let's just go into this other project. All right. So I'm going to put this on my timeline. If this was the front of the building, which I don't know if I took a video of that. And now we want to put a title on there. All right. So I'm going to go to my graphics tab up at the top. And this gives you um, some pre-made titles that you can use for the project. All right. So these are, and if you kind of scan over them, you can get a preview of them. If you go to the info tab uh, and then click on here, you can kind of see how it's animated. So these are preset animated titles. All right, and that was if so in the graphics tab, you go down and you press the I for info, and then you can kind of scrub through the mini timeline on here to see what that uh, title is going to look like. All right, so I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to drag it to my timeline, and then I should be seeing it playing here. Oh, there it is. All right, so, and then I can just use the text tool to select the text, and we'll just say OCVTS Brick will be our title. All right, so that's our first task here today is getting our main title. And now we can play this through. It might be a little bit slow uh, the first time through. What you'll notice is that your timeline on the top here, and I'm getting some weird kind of glitching there as processing. Um, our timeline is red on the top and then yellow. All right, what that means is that this footage is not fully rendered. So if we go to sequence and we say render effects in to out, we can, it will apply all that rendering and it should make it seem a lot more clean. All right, so it took a couple seconds to start there. Let's just see if I'm right here and then I'll come around and help you guys get to where we need to be. All right, so see how the timeline turned green? I don't know why this one didn't. Uh, let's see, sequence. Let's see if I do this this way. 
sequence render selection. That whole thing on the top should turn green there. Not sure why that's not there, but those are effects in there. All right, so I'm going to pause the recording here. All right, so the next thing, after we get our title, we want to bring our next clip in. And again, in the end of this project, we want to get rid of the audio. So by default, your audio and your video are linked together. So if we right click it, select unlink, then we can select the audio and delete it. But a faster way to do that is to just double click so that your video opens in the source window. And if we just drag the video portion, all right, you guys in class here, I'm going to point my laser to it because it is a little bit small. All right, right underneath the clip, there's a little movie icon there. As opposed to the right, there's an audio. So if we just grab the video icon and drag that to our timeline, then we don't have the audio applied with it, and we don't have to take that extra step to delete it. All right, so that would be inserting our next clip. All right, um, now what we want to do is to put a transition. All right, because right now, this going from one clip to another is, is pretty kind of rough. It's not very smooth, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Effects tab up at the top here. It changes our, our kind of layout, and we're going to go to Video Transitions. So there's a whole list of video transitions here. For this project, I want you to pick one and use it throughout. Um, I don't want you to have different transitions between the different clips. It's just you know not going to be very unified in your design. All right, so... Um, the dissolve or cross dissolve is a pretty common one. So if we open any of these folders and we just drag the icon next to the type of dissolve and put it right in between, all right, now we have this nice where it's going to fade one video out as it's fading the other one in. All right, so that would be applying our, our transition. All right, see how that worked. All right, I'll go take break. All right, is we're going to do our title. So each clip, I would like to kind of have a label of what the area is. All right. So we have our title. We go into our next clip, and we're now going to label this with what's called the lower third. Now, we also want to make sure that we are using the title and action safe area. So on the bottom or on this little strip here, if you see, there's like a double box there, Aaliyah. You might want to watch up here so you can see what I'm talking about, all right? So this box here will turn on your safe margins. So if we remember, our action should be happening in the outside box, and our text should be happening on this one. So I'm going to go, which tab do I go to for my titles or in my text? Graphics, thank you, Jersandra. All right, now, so we're going to go to graphics. I'm going to browse, and I'm going to look for a lower third in here. So basic lower third, if I drag this on top of here. And this, now when you're looking at your timeline, especially for your titles, the width of the box is going to indicate basically the duration of that title. So this actually puts it pretty much right on that lower third uh, or on that action safe area. If we wanted to move it, we would use the selection tool, select the clip, and then in your editing tab, um, we can go, I'm sorry, the effects tab, we can go under motion and, oh, it's not really re-previewing again. What is happening? Come on, come back. Where did my video go? I can't see anything. Um, we may have to, I just did a save. I'm probably gonna have to restart this project. I don't know what's going on with our performance on these. So I'm gonna, and then in my effects panel, I can move this 
here. All right, so if you ever want to move anything around, use this effects tab, and I can get this right on this action safe area grid. Um, I might also want to, you know, what do you notice about this text? Is it totally readable? No. Not really, right? So maybe I would want to put like a stroke around there, which is basically an outline around the text. So let's see, can I do it in here? Text your name should have been in here. Let's see if I go back. Maybe if I highlight it with my text tool. Aha, here's what I'm looking for. So if I want to put a stroke around these letters, um, in our graphics tab, we can go down to here where it says stroke, check that off, and then white would not be the best color, maybe like a black stroke though. All right, so now I'm applying a stroke and I can give it a little more thickness. So see how it's giving me that black border around there? That's your stroke value, all right? So I would probably do the same thing here, change it to something that really contrasts that background and increase the size of it. All right. All right. So when we come back, we will be doing um, the rolling credits, which would be basically the last part of this. And then we'll talk about rendering this out to have a, a composite video to that is talk about how to make a rolling credit at the end, all right, and then um, rendering the video. So if we move our playhead, which remember is our blue kind of little shape here on your timeline. So we assume that we put all our videos in, we did our lower thirds, we did our transitions. The last thing we want to do is add some credits. So we're going to select our type tool. We can make a, a box. All right, maybe you guys watch me do this the first time and then we'll do it together. All right, so that you can kind of just get the concept and then understand and then kind of do it with me. All right, so if I said here, you know, I'll center it, we do our credits, we would then type in um, directed by. All right, we put all our text in there, all right? I can then also then kind of resize this and then move it to the bottom to start using that. Now, in our editor here, where did that go? All right, so it is a little, so notice the different selection modes and what happens over here. If I'm like in my editing mode, I have all character formatting as far as, um, you know, your, your font, your styling, justification, as we did our fill and stroke, but we don't get the option for roll and uh, for rolling. So what I want to do is use my selection tool, kind of deselect it, and now I have this option to roll. All right. So if I, all I have to do is say that if it starts off screen and ends off screen. Now if I play through, we have our credits going through there. Kind of cool, maybe? All right, that, that's all there is really to doing your rolling. Um, you can do a, a manual animation uh, to do the same effect, but um, I think that's something we'll save for a little bit later when um, you're not, when we get a little more practice on things. All right, so I'm gonna go through this again with you all so that you can actually have your credits at the end, all right, on this, and then you kind of fill in your pieces. All right, so start by moving your playhead to the end of your timeline, and then select your text tool, and draw a box within your title safe area. Any questions on that so far? All right, then I'm gonna start typing credits. 
uh, I think it would be nice if it was centered. And I'm going to make this a little larger. This is the slider over here. Is my text size. Right, maybe I have a little extra spacing there. Get that back. All right, so you should all have uh, your text on there. Paul, you could be doing a lot of stuff even with just kind of some basic footage and stuff. I would, these, are, these are all science grades when we do kind of these repetition of things as far as following the process on, on doing something. So today we talked about the main title, transitions, lower thirds, and now we're doing rolling credits. All right, everybody good with creating your text? Brian? Now that we have the text placed, now we're going to just assign the rolling property. So you're going to use the arrow tool on your toolbar to kind of deselect. And now, uh, and now you have this option over in your essential graphics. So all you're doing is choosing the arrow and like deselecting the text. Because look, if we select it, we get all these properties back as far as styling and formatting. But if we deselect it, you do have to have the text selected though on your timeline because look, if I have nothing selected on the timeline, I have nothing on this panel, but if I select it, now I have roll, all right? So you can have it start and end off screen. And if we do our scrub through, we can see it does just that. All right, so again, it was just deselecting and then making sure this is selected and we have, um, ending and starting. Now you do have some other properties down here which can create a little bit more uh, of a I guess easement. So if we say if we have a pre-roll I think that will kind of actually no there it is. I like the easing in sometimes. It'll kind of speed it up or slow it down at the beginning I think. Let's see. So it's slow and then it goes fast and then we could ease out, it would slow down also. So that's kind of a, a nice feature to have there, or I think it's like a nice kind of artistic effect to it. You don't have to do that, but that's what those things do. So it's slow, and it speeds up, maybe because it's really not that long to begin with. Have you tried important videos today? Yeah, it's working. We're it is, because I, I ran some updates on. Whatever you did, all right? So next, to render it, to make it all one composite file, we're going to save. And then we're going to go to the File menu. We're going to say Export Media. File Export Media. All right, it's going to bring up a screen that has some output settings. Starting from the top, we want our format to be H.264. All right. Uh, that makes, as I was saying, your MP4 file, which is compressed. So it's a small file size, but it retains uh, good image quality. All right. Um, under that preset, we're just going to keep it at that. Match the source. All right. Then if we scroll down, pretty much everything else will kind of leave the same. You can see here the source is 1920 by 1080. So that's a good frame size. Your frame rate is still at almost 30 frames per second. 
Um, your audio and codecs, codecs and all that stuff will kind of leave as they are uh, by default. Um, what I want to make sure, sometimes you select a certain part of your, your timeline. So I always like to go to here where it says source range and say entire sequence. And also where it says output name, all right, this is a, a really important one, all right. This is what your name, your file name is going to be called. Also, if you click on it, it shows you where it's going to save it. So I would definitely make sure it's in this uh, quick change folder or, or um, sorry, your um, middle states folder. And we could just call this. You know, I was like, if you're doing renderings on multiple days, we could say 0921 for today. And we're going to render this out from there. So, because tomorrow you might make a, a new rendering, and then that way you can kind of see the progress there. So, all I really did, three things. I changed the format to H.264. I renamed it. And then I made sure that my source range is the entire sequence. And then you just, so once you have those three things, we're just going to press export. And it'll take a couple seconds to get going here. But it's going to then take this file as you're seeing here. It thought at first it was going to take three minutes, but it's, it's actually uh, ripping through it pretty quickly there. All right, and now once this is done, we can upload this to YouTube where it shouldn't have any problems playing it. But we can test it. So you always want to kind of test before you upload to YouTube. So I'm going to go in here and here's my video, which looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, so for today, I want to come around and see your renderings. All right, we have 15 minutes left. Um, so I want to see your title, a transition, a lower third, and rolling credits. Four things there uh, to, get your, to get full credit for today. All right, um, I know some of you still may need help. So before I check them, all right, you can ask for help if you missed a part. you don't ask for help then when we go to grade and you're missing something you're going to lose credit that action safe area and you're missing the thing in there that the tool so press plus right, and then this is your margin so drag that down onto here right, press ok and press that now we have our margins now we can go back to browse in your graphics you can find one that says lower third and just drag it over to your timeline and then edit it well, each clip should have a lower third that labels what room it is. All right, so we're gonna, it's going to take a little time to get all of them in there, but for today, I just want to see one of them.
you have it rendered, who has it rendered that they can show it to me in Windows Media Player? That's what I want to see, your final MP4. Uh, any questions, McKenna, MG, or Steve? Steven? No. no.